Hi, in this video, I'd like to show you how you can use Logic's MIDI modulator to expand on your sound design. So as an example, I've got a retro synth open here on the right hand side of my screen. And from there, I've gone to table and I've chosen the Digi Insect Wave table, which I think is pretty cool. And on the left here, I have Logic's modulator, which is actually one of Logic's MIDI effects. So let me just close that for a sec and I'll show you how I got there. So I'll just click no plugin here. So before where you load your instrument, you have a menu called MIDI effects. From there, you simply select modulator. Let's put that back there. Okay, so the modulator basically just outputs MIDI information like aftertouch data, mod wheel data, velocity data, and inside the synthesizer that you're using, you can send that to different parameters. So for example, right now we have modulator outputting some MIDI data in the shape of a triangle wave, like an LFO. So this is basically an LFO that is just sending out MIDI data instead of modulating a parameter inside the synth. Now, I have this LFO, this MIDI LFO, outputting as mod wheel data, okay? And if I want to use this LFO to modulate the cutoff frequency of the filter inside RetroSynth, I go to RetroSynth, I open the settings menu, and under the controller section, I select mod wheel two. So this is where I tell RetroSynth what to do with this mod wheel data that it's getting from modulator. And I say, oh, I want you to modulate the filter cutoff. So I select filter cutoff. I'm going to increase the intensity here because at zero, it won't do anything. It'll be no modulation. I'm going to increase the intensity here. And I'm going to make sure that the actual LFO inside the synth isn't doing anything. So I'm going to have that at zero and that one there as well. And what I'll do is I'll bypass the modulator first just to check that there isn't already any modulation happening inside the synth. So let's have a listen. Okay, so it's a pretty steady sound at the moment. So let's now re-enable modulator. And let's have a listen. Cool. So you can see this graph down here on the left hand side, this visual representation of the MIDI LFO that's in the shape of a triangle. You can quite clearly see and hear that modulating the filter cutoff. So that's one use of it. Obviously, we could do that inside the synthesizer as well. But let's say, for example, I wanted to use the inbuilt LFO to modulate the cutoff frequency, which I can do here as we previously discussed in this course. Because what I might want to do is use modulator's LFO instead to do something else. So I'm going to keep that on mod wheel, but I'm going to come back to retro synth, go to the settings. And I want the mod wheel data to modulate maybe the LFO rate. So instead of this pattern here modulating the actual cutoff frequency, the cutoff frequency is now getting modulated by the LFO in built into RetroSynth. But the rate at which that LFO is happening, you know, so the frequency of the LFO is being modulated by this LFO. So let's have a listen to that. Cool. So I'm going to turn down the output level here just so that it's not as intense. So you see this visual representation is very useful because it really helps you visualize what difference that's making. So this should be sort of less intense now. And then I can turn up the offset so that smaller triangle graph just happens further up the scale. So 
So the output level effectively expands, or when you increase the output level, it expands the range at which it modulates. So let's turn that up again. So it's going to go from really fast down to really slow. And what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to turn down the rate of this LFO so that we can hear that modulation a bit clearer. So I'm going to turn that down to two bars. And I'm going to turn down the LFO on the synth just so that it's not modulating the cutoff so much. And I'm going to turn down the output level just a bit. Cool. So what we've done in this video is we've used the LFO built in as we usually do to modulate the cutoff frequency, but we've used the LFO in modulator to modulate the rate of this LFO. And the way that we did that was we chose a pattern. So we've chosen a triangle here. We can choose any other pattern like a square. Or sign. And we've sent that data to modwill. So that's the modwill data as a MIDI command. And we've told RetroSynth in the settings, hey, take that data and use it to modulate the LFO rate. Cool. So that's one application that we can use the LFO modulator in Logic Pro. I'll see you in the next video where we take that a step further.